Are you ready to meet new people? Well, let's get started. What's up, YouTube? Big shout out to Mystic for letting me upload to his channel. I am the Macominator, M C C O M I N A T O R, and I, I got a channel too. So what I'm doing here is, we'll see. I'm going to try and get to putting a story together in the character that I had developed for my channel. I don't know if I'll have time or not. I put whatever I want on my channel. I do not do just Call of Duty. I don't do just clips. I do a little bit of everything, and I put it all in there. And I've been told that I should make separate channels for each type of content that I want to do, but here's the here's the lowdown. If I'm doing something that is using commercial material that somebody else has done, I'm going to put it on this channel. So, uh, you'll see a lot of movie edits, goat stuff with songs and things of that nature, just random goofy stuff that I like. Uh, anything that has possible copyright to it, it's going on this channel. Call of Duty was what I started with. Uh, the idea was to use the video editing software to create montages and clips and stuff like that so that I could get familiar with video editing software before I started doing some homemade movie type stuff that I wanted to do or some funny clips. Things that you would see on like Funny or Die, which I am on, but I don't have anything up yet. Doing a two series, we're following my bench press as I get up to 365. I'm at 325 now, so I'm not far off. And we're doing another series called The Road to 495 where I am and working, getting my deadlift up to 495 pounds, which is 545 pound plates in case you didn't know. So those were on there too. So you want to see powerlifting? That's on there. Uh, I have an MMA fight up on there that I did. It's under Macominator fight. Pretty straightforward. It's a flawless victory. I don't get hit once. And I don't know if, how many more of those will go up. I'm kind of old. I'm 34. I don't know how many more fights I can do. You're going to see some funny clips. Like I said with the goats before, I like to do songs and work the goats into them. I think they're funny. Some people like them. Some people don't. If you don't like them, then you just won't like those that I put up. I'm not changing the channel for anybody. Uh, this is this is my thing. I don't make any money off of it. It's not even monetized, so it's just for fun. Hope you like it too. My remaining time is going to be used to tell a story. If I don't, if I run out of time, I'll stick some other clips on the end. I'll do some videos that I've I've done before. I'll just put them on here to make it fit. That way you can get a sampling of what I'm what I'm all about. You can see what I do and uh, make your decision based on that if you want to subscribe, like, or whatever. So, uh, let's pick this one. Because I have other topics I want to do for my own channel. Let's tell you a story about my childhood. This is a pretty good one. I think it's funny. Hopefully you think it's funny. Now, for some reason, when I was in 7th, uh, 8th grade, middle school, we I had a fascination with uh, sticking safety pins or sewing pins through the eraser on my pencil in home ec class. For those of you that are not in this country, home economics is a stupid class that you take all through school to teach you how to like make peanut butter sandwiches and sew and stuff like that. It is literally the most useless thing ever. I think it was designed just for women, and then like the women's rights movement happened, and they just kind of forced men to take it instead of getting rid of it completely. That's just a guess. I don't have anything to back that up. So one day I was flicking it in school and I'm just like taking the pencil and flipping it between my fingers and it went flying out of my hand and it landed on the floor. Well, one of the girls decided that I had thrown it at her and she told the teacher and I got suspended. Now, this is not the internet age. My parents could not get on Facebook. They could not look it up and see if uh, I had been suspended from class. They could not talk to Mrs. whatever her name was. I don't even remember anymore. Uh, fat lady, whatever. She had no way to contact my parents other than by the phone, but my dad worked, so I was able to intercept any kind of mail or anything that would be coming to the house. And they didn't send any mail to the house. That was their mistake. So here's what I did. I actually got I was suspended for five days. Keep that in mind. Five days. I actually would ride the bus like I was going to school. I would walk into the school. I'd walk through the school and out one of the back doors, and then I would walk up because the... Um, Grade school, middle school, and high school were all at the same, like, half-mile radius. So I would walk up behind the middle school towards the high school uh, where there was a cemetery. And I would sit in the shack that was for the cemetery, for the maintenance crew or whatever. I would sit there for eight hours until school was over. And then I would get on the bus, and I would go home at the end of the evening, or at the end of the afternoon. I did that every day. I went over into a field, and I, like played hide-and-go-seek with myself or some shit just to try and keep myself entertained for a few hours. 
Uh, it was boring, but it was better than getting my ass beat because that's exactly what would have happened. So for three days I got away with this until, as kids do, I broke the streak by being an idiot. I decided that I was just going to walk right past the elementary school. Which, you know, honestly, you know, a hundred times if I would have done that, it probably would have never got caught at this one time. I did. Uh, the principal for the elementary school just had me walking around outside, and he saw me and grabbed me, and I had... On the third day, I had gotten away with it for three days. On the third day, I got busted. And they called my parents, and then the whole thing got explained to them. And that was really unfortunate. So, I, uh, I, got, in a, I got in a ton of trouble over that, but... It was kind of blunted by the fact that uh, they had completely dropped the ball on letting my parents know that I was suspended in the first place, so they actually just canceled the suspension effective of that day uh, and had to give my dad an apology and everything else. And I, I thought that was pretty damn funny, but, um, <laughs> well, I, I thought it was creative. It's one of my favorite stories, and uh, my dad still talks about it to this day. So just real quick about the gameplay. I have all the titles in Black Ops 2. So I'm going back through just to get the last ones, which are detonations and diffuses in um, Search and Destroy, uh, and it's a pain in the ass. So I have to pay really close attention. Whenever there is one or two people left, I can't kill anybody. I have to leave them alive. And if I don't have the bomb, I don't even fool with it half the time because I know the team isn't going to plant the bomb. So you'll see me doing stuff like I am at the end of this video here. So... That was a pain in the butt. I'm still going through it. I've got some funny games that I've played where um, I make them chase me so they won't defuse the bomb, <laughs> basically. And uh, I find those to be pretty funny. Uh, I just I forgot to record them. Hopefully I get one up here soon. But that's all I got for now. I have way funnier stories than that. I'm pretty dirty normally, so stand by to be offended. Thanks for tuning in.